Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's short video we're going to be talking about three hard baits that are excellent for ice fishing crappies. It's, it's a lot of fun fishing crappies with hard baits because usually they just smash them. You can get a lot of feedback on your rod and uh, a lot of times you can get some really nice crappies to hit hard baits. In this video we're going to talk about three of my favorite hard baits that are going to absolutely crush the crappies in 2020. So getting into to, uh, this first lure, this is a lure that I started using last year and I really like it and what it is is it's this Z Viber. It looks just like this. It's made by Euro Tackle. I've got a couple of them here in different colors. I like any color with with pink in it. There you can see that one's got pink. This one's got some pink and green. Uh, pink is one of my favorite colors uh, for crappies, also chartreuse. This one you see it's got some green, some bright colors. They all really work well. This is the, these are the 1 16th ounce, that's a, the weight that I like to go with for fishing these ice fishing, or ice fishing for these crappies. But the Z-Viber works really well, especially once you get into this mid-winter because it's got some vibration, it's got rattles so that the crappies, they can feel this lure, they can hear it, and they can also see it. When you get into mid-winter, a lot of times, well two things happen, the bite can get a little tough, but also, uh, a lot of times the crappies are going to be more aggressive. They have to feed and they can't see as good. So lures that have a little vibration, a little sound that can attract some of those crappies over, that's what the Z-Viber brings to the table. Now when I'm uh, using the Z-Viber, you can see it's got one big hook there on the back. I like to tip that hook with either a minnow head, a wax worm, or a spike. Wax worms and spikes are both bug larvae. Uh, wax worms are a little bit bigger than spikes. You can get them at a lot of your local bait stores. Uh, a lot of times I'll use spikes just because the, uh, they stay on the hook a little better. So on the big hook here on the Z-Viber, if I'm using spikes, I'll probably put two of them on that big hook. But you can also use a minnow head, works really well. Or you can put one or two wax worms on that uh, big hook as well both work really well. Now I like to fish that bait with a little bit heavier rod. That is just me personally. This is a medium light power rod. It's got a little bit more stiffness. I like to use a, a rod with a little bit more backbone anytime I'm fishing a harder a higher style bait. The Z-Viber you could fish with a lighter rod but just me personally I like a light power rod or a medium light power rod. I also like to use a little bit heavier line when I'm using uh, hard baits mainly because you can get bigger fish on them you, you never know when a bass is going to come up and smoke that bait or a walleye or even a pike gives you a little bit better chance of landing that fish and hard ice fishing lures that are hard baits they're fairly expensive so I don't like to lose a lot of a lot of lures so I use a little heavier line usually six pound test but with the Z Viber you could easily use a light power rod with something like four pound test and be just fine. Now incidentally if anybody is wondering you know we're, we're gonna be going over some baits today but if you're wondering where to, f to find the, the crappies that you're gonna use these baits on you know 90 percent of the battle with crappie fishing is locating them. They're usually fairly easy to get to bite but locating them is the hardest part. So for that, I put together a seven step crappie locating system. I will link to that in the description of this video if anybody wants to check it out. It's just the steps that I use when I go to a new lake or a lake that I fish to kind of break down the lake, locate where I think the crappies are gonna be. Again, that it's, it's my seven step crappie locating system. It's free, I'm gonna link to it in the description of the video. Okay, so the second lure that I like to use in the winter, hard bait, it's actually my favorite lure, is a jigging wrap. I like, I love fishing jigging wraps for crappies. They work really well. When I'm fishing the jigging wraps, here you can see in my, <laughs> my, uh, my, this, or, you know, my example lures here, I've got two of the same color. I love this color, it's chartreuse and white. It's a crappie killer. These right here 
are the smallest jigging wraps they make. I believe these are the number two. This is the number three. Uh, both of them work when I'm strictly fishing crappies. I like to start with the smaller one. I mean, you can get them, all, you can catch crappies all the way up to the number five, but I like to start with the small one, the number two, go to the number three sometimes. Those are the, the main jigging wraps that I'm using for crappies. A variety of different colors work. I really like this chartreuse and white, but just the white or, you know, the clown works, the glow ones work. A lot of different colors work. But I, I really like to start with the number two. When you're fishing a jigging wrap, so here's actually the last one that I was using. I had that uh, Helsinki Shad on. Looks just like this. That's the number three. When you're fishing a jigging wrap, the things to be, uh, to be mindful, you want to make sure you have that barrel swivel with some leader line. The jigging wrap, when you jig it, it makes big circles and it can put twists in your line if you don't have that barrel swivel. Again, I like to use the number two or number three um, jigging wrap. With jigging wraps, you don't have to tip the, the hooks, but if the bite is a little bit tough, sometimes it's a good idea to, uh, to tip the hooks, again, with a minnow head, a wax worm, or a spike. That way, if you have to fish the lure slower and put in longer pauses, there's a little scent and a little target for those fish to hit. So when they're aggressive, you don't need to tip it. If it's a little bit tougher bite, then I like to tip it so that way if you just need to hold that lure still to, to get the bite you have a little scent on there and uh, a lot of times you'll get more bites so when I'm fishing a jigging wrap I'm gonna do about probably about you know one foot rod raises to attract fish in and then I'm gonna just slow it down when that fish is in there just staring at that lure trying to get the to get the strike so now the third lure that I really like to use is these ultralight ripping wraps. This right here is the that one's stuck. This is the number. So this is the number four, and this I believe is that I th this is the glow. It's white with a little uh, chartreuse head. The number four, nice and small, crappies love it. It's got rattle, it's got a little vibration. You don't want to work this bait too hard or it potentially could scare your fish. It can get pretty noisy with those rattles. So you want to just gently jig it up, let it drop back down, gently jig it, jig it up, let it drop back down to attract those fish in. When they come in, then you want to slow it down to get that strike. Um, and this one again, it's a good idea to tip the hooks on a tough bite to just give that bait some scent. Another, you know, another rip and wrap, that was the number four. This is the number three. This is just a little tiny one. On a tough bite, I like to go with the really small one. That's just me, but day to day, you want to just try different ones, see which is going to work the best. But again, when you're using the rip and wrap, I usually want to be tipped with a wax worm spike or minnow head, raise that bait up, let it drop to attract them in, and then slow down and just kind of shake it when the fish get in there to check it out. So these are some of the hard baits that I like to use ice fishing. These are going to work great in 2020. So get out there if you haven't already and try them. I'll see you guys in the next video.